Next, we have high-low method. In here, we will obtain data based on past observation of cost uh, within the relevant activity levels. And then, we will estimate the variable cost per unit by using this formula. So, cost at highest activity minus cost at lowest activity over highest activity minus lowest activity. So, this analyzes the this analyzes the incremental cost that is incurred on a certain number of units because if we will have the total cost at the lowest activity level versus the total cost of, at the highest activity level, the difference of such would be the incremental cost incurred for the difference between the highest and the lowest activity. Then we will compute fixed costs in such way. What are the advantages of this? It is pretty much straightforward and simple to use. The disadvantage here is it only recognizes two points in the set of observations, wherein if the analysis is, is not a straight line, then we will, we will only consider the highest and lowest activity levels and we will connect a dot between them. That is how high-low method works. Now, we go to regression analysis, which uses all available data to estimate cost function. So, simple, when we say simple regression analysis, this analyzes the relationship between one dependent and one independent variable. Multiple regression estimates the relationship between dependent variable and multiple independent variable. This eliminates the disadvantage in high-low method. However, this requires... A detailed calculation in order for us to arrive with the with the with the with the fix and variable components we consider the formula y is equal to a plus bx which is already familiar to you the slope intercept formula in determining the fix and variable components in here Least squares regression method would be the method that we will use in order to in order to arrive with the fixed and variable components of our equation. So we use the following formula: summation of y is equal to number of observations a, which is the fixed cost, plus the variable cost multiplied by the summation of x values. X values would be the cost drivers while the y, while the y values would be the peso values it would be always such that way y values would be for the peso amounts x values would be for the activity levels and then we would have the second formula and then if you would notice the second formula you would only multiply the entire first formula with summation of x so, summation of xy is equal to summation of xa plus b summation of x squared. So, in this formula, we will, we will be able to derive the fixed and variable components through the process of elimination or substitution. Scatter graph method is a rough guide for cost estimation which plot the cost against past activity. So, an example of this is we will plot all x and y components. So, we will plot them and then we will draw a straight line on, on the pattern that we see. And then, that would be our, our cost formula. Then, learning curve theory is based on the proposition that as workers gain experience in a task, they need less time to complete the job and productivity increases so learning curve theory suggests that if you took one hour to finish a, a task for the first time for the second time you would take a lower number of hours to complete such so now we go ahead and answer some discussion problems so this is our first problem for cost estimation the following information is available for maintenance costs of the organization. So, there we go. The information for June, July, August, September, October. Using least squares, the estimate of the fixed portion of maintenance costs 
would be how much. So remember the formula that we need to use. So the formula that we need to use would be summation of y is equal to so here we go summation of y is equal to n a plus b summation of x and if you would multiply that with summation of x summation of x y is equal to summation of x a plus b summation of x squared so we now have to solve for summation for the summation items that we need here so summation of x that would be 1,150,000 summation of y n is the number of observations so in here how many observations do we have june july august september october we have five observations now we go to some uh, x multiplied by y so we will multiply all those observations so all those five observations and then we'll get the summation that is the summation of x y then the summation of x squared so this is x multiplied by x so x multiplied by x we have there and that is your summation of x squared so to summarize them we have the summation of x at 1,150,000 n is at 5 and summation of y is at 3,110,000 we also have summation of xy at 799 yes too big summation of x squared would be 310 so there we go now we go to our formula we substitute our items here so summation of y we have 3,110,000 is equal to 5a plus b multiplied by 1,150,000. Then we have summation of xy that is 770. 900 and then we have six zeros equal to summation of xa that is 1,150,000 a plus 307 million i three hundred is that million billion 100 million b so now we need to eliminate uh, one one variable either a or b so that we would arrive with a or b so it is easier for us to eliminate uh, eliminate well either way we can eliminate any item but let's try eliminating b so that we would arrive with the fixed cost so what would be the multiple of this so, I guess we need to eliminate A. No, we need to eliminate B. So, X squared divided by... Okay, we eliminate A. 1,150,000 divided by 5. So, 230,000. Let's multiply the first equation with 230,000. So... We have 3,110,000 multiplied by 230,000. We have 715 
300 million is equal to 1150A plus that is uh, 1150 multiplied by 230,000. 264500 million B. So now we would deduct this. So eliminate, cancel 1150A. Then so we have 770 900 minus 715 300. We have 55 600. Then we have six zeros is equal to we have 307 100 minus 264 500 42 600 and then we have six zeros b now we divide this entire equation with 42 600 million so b would be equal to so for so we have 55 600 divided by 42 600 we have 1 point 1.3052 that would be your variable cost per unit so to get to get the fixed cost, let us use one of the formulas. We have three million one hundred ten thousand is equal to five a plus one point three zero five two multiplied by one million one hundred fifty thousand. So this one one. 0.3052 multiplied by 1,150,000 that is 1.5 million so 3,110,000 minus 1,500 938.97 because we will transfer that there is equal to 5a divided by 5 so a would be at so 3 million 110 minus 1 million 500 thousand then divided by 5 we have 321,812.21 so that is your a so if we will Include this in a formula, which is y is equal to a plus bx. We now have y is equal to 321812.21 plus 1.3052x. This would be your slope intercept formula. And this would be the fixed cost that was mentioned earlier, which is the requirement in here. What if, for example, for the month of November, you will in incur, you will have, you will have production volume in units of uh, 300,000. How much cost do you expect? So to solve for that, we have y is equal to 321812.21 plus 1.3052 let's substitute x 300,000 units so to get that 1.3052 multiplied by 300,000 you have 391 560 plus 321 812.21 that would be your cost for the month of November so that is that 
rather 391-560 plus 321-812-713-372.21 That is how we use that is how we use cost information uh, cost estimation in analyzing costs 